Ladies and gentlemen, this is not my normal tongue-in-cheek comedy video. Not today. No, not today. Today is serious. Today we say goodbye to a giant. To an Australian legend. The great. The beautiful. The sexy. The always wearing purple, and that's why I'm wearing this. Tracy Grimshaw, ladies and gentlemen. It's all over. She's gone. She is. No more. Did we disappoint you or let you down? Who's going to stop the guilty and bring the dull bludgers down? What about the pensioners who are on their own? They were ripped off by Telstra and now Tracy's gone. It may be over, but it won't stop them. What about the dodgy mechanics who live without fear now? You touched our hearts, you wore purple. Every night you wore fucking purple. <laughs> Love is blind and that we knew it. Our hearts were blinded by a trace. We kissed your lips, we held your hand. We shared your bed. Something, something we know you smell. Our hearts were blinded by you. Goodbye, Tracy. Goodbye, our friend. You have been the one. You have been the one chasing dodgy tradies for me. Goodbye, Tracy Grimshaw. Goodbye. Okay, that's enough. If you don't know, Tracy Grimshaw is the greatest journalist to ever work here in Australia and her career is now over. For the longest time, Tracy Grimshaw led the greatest TV show in Australia's history, A Current Affair. A fantastic comedy, but they don't know they're a comedy. Everyone just watches it and laughs at the shitness of the journalism that they're showing on the TV. Literally every night my wife and I watch it for comedic value. Robert Kalman is one mad boss. When you do get Will to do something, he does half a job. Now f off! He's going f off! You two! Come on! It's honestly just Fucking amazing post-dinner viewing. Oh, can I just say before we go any further, massive merch drop for Christmas right now, ladies and gentlemen. Go and check out all these beautiful, look at this. Ooh, wow, gorgeous. So many different merch options, ladies and gentlemen. Go and check them out right now. They're all your favorites. All the great things we've released over the years, including this beauty that always sells out. So if you haven't got one, go and grab one right now at IsaacButterfield.shop. Do it, please. Kim. You and your current affair. Will says he's now looking for a new job. I fucking love this show. And yes, Tracy is gone after hosting it for 400 years or however long she was there. And it's going to be tough. I'm not the only one to feel sort of attacked and saddened by this. In fact, even Australia's Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, had this to say. Oh, fuck me, bros. I'm going to miss those titties so much. And even... John Howard, another Australian Prime Minister, had this to say. Oh, it's all about the titties on old Trace. You've got to remember that Trace's bosoms are fucking fantastic. Jeanette and I always talks about drowning in her areola. Actually, a lot of people got really sexual. It's, 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 it's actually quite scary. You talk about a huge talent, but I'll tell you what was even bigger than her talent back then. Hey, 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 that is enough out of you, mate. How dare you speak about a woman that's no longer with us? And if you dance, she's not dead. She's just off the TV. But I just felt like the title of this video would be much better if everyone thought she was dead. Not that I want to see her dead. I want her to run into money troubles and then start an OnlyFans page. That's all I want. And yes, it is sad that she's gone. And we have a lot of great memories of Tracy. But it would be remiss of me to make a video about a current affair and not make fun of one of their stories. Now, this story doesn't include Tracy, but none of the stories do. They never fucking include Tracy. She just throws to him and then sits back on a wine and has a laugh at the shit journalist she has working for her. This video is a good one, though. I give you sexy video at the centre of a dispute between radio host and a cleaner. This is why I love this fucking show. I don't have time for this man. People have to do. Do you know what I've been through today? She said me accidentally. Holy dooly, I think we need a follow-up story with a fucking dentist to work out what's going on with those Barry Booth, love. That means tooth. Your tooth are fucked. A video of herself doing a sexy dance on the floor in our master bedroom. I get up with Maddie. 
hey, 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 hey. She was empowered by that dance. She's a sexy, strong, beautiful woman. And if you dare say anything against that, you are just a patriarchal witch. You just hate women, don't you? Why are you trying to slut shame her? Just because she did a sexy dance in your fucking house? Women do that all the time. What if a man did it? Would you say anything? No, because you're a fuck. Yeah. She is owning her sexuality and you should be ashamed of yourself. Get away from me. I'm not near you. Get away from me you then. Paid uh, that's not going to spit on you, man. No, don't, Wait. we don't need yeah. any spitting. Please don't, don't, don't. She seems like a great young woman, guys. I really do believe that. Like she is destined for great things. Like four kids. Uh, to, Four different fucking men. And an OnlyFans account, obviously, where she plays covers of Nickelback songs on her cesarean section scar. That's fucking hot, bruh. There's been some dirty deeds in the cleaning game, and Jess Eva has had enough. I no longer am I going to be intimidated and by people taking advantage of me. She did a sexy dance. She's not trying to fucking kill you. Jesus, calm down. It's a messy situation, and Jess wants the woman at the heart of it, avid social media user Kyla Hutton, to clean up her act. Ooh, an avid social media user. Let's see what these boomers uh, seem to think that an avid social media user is. And I went onto her TikTok account. I, I did. It's, uh, where is it? It's uh, Peachy Peachy 6969. She also has another account, which is Unicorn6960. Apparently she likes 69. Now, basically all her videos are exactly the same. It's her trying to look sexy, trying to look hot, but she's filming it with a Samsung phone. So she just looks like complete shit. Anyway, long story short, they hired this lady to clean their rental house before someone else moved in or something. And she ended up being all, got all hot and steamy in it. <laughs> as you do. When did you start to suspect that Kyla might not be cleaning the house? She sent me, accidentally, a video of herself doing a sexy dance on the floor in our master bedroom. Oh, we've all been there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm constantly sending videos of me dancing sexually to randoms all the time. Sometimes these things just happen. Why attack her over it? Kyla tried to scrub away her mistake by messaging an apology but the video was a stain on her cleaning credentials. Oh, okay, so it's not an actual sexy video. She's not jamming herself with a fucking toilet brush. I thought she must have been squirting all over the floor. She's just doing fucking a couple of, ooh, these ones, that's fucking it. She's just making a TikTok. What all the powerful young women do with their time now. That's how they make a fucking audience of a million people. Just show a bit of titty and then they get heaps of followers. Wow, we're so proud of you, babe. Kyla did post this photo that appears to be taken at Jess's house. And it turns out Kyla is trying to clean up in another business with an account on subscription service OnlyFans. You can just smell the OnlyFans creators, can't you? You can just smell them. You just know that they tried and worked at some fucking local service station and then they went, this is way too hard. I'd rather stick fingers in me asshole for strangers on the internet. We're so proud of you, babe. You're killing it. You're really defeating the evil patriarchy and fighting the wage gap by fucking yourself. But I won't look at the account because I can't find it. But if I do find it, we will look at it. Because that's what we do on this channel. We're fucking creeps. So after all this, all this arguing, all this freaking out, the nude cleaner, the sexy lady, and the teeth lady finally come face to face. Stella with the current affair. Just want to have a bit of a chat about the company. This is Jess. Um, you cleaned her place not so long ago. We found Kyla and attempted to tidy up the situation. I don't, I'm not even angry. I just want then to Then why are you doing this more. then? That's a fair question. If you're not angry, why are you calling a current affair? Also, she's this young girl. She's obviously done the wrong thing. She's a bit of a fucking bogan. And she hasn't given the keys back too. I think this plays a big role. She hasn't given the keys back. It's apparently, allegedly. Uh, so that's why this whole thing's kicked off. It's pretty dodgy, but I also imagine when a whole camera crew's there, it'd be pretty fucking scary. But also, who gives a fuck about her? I don't care. Do you? I bet you fucking don't. No one does. Who cares? It's fair to say Kyla wasn't accepting any cleaning criticism. How is it not clean? What was not clean about it? Get them up. There's what was not clean about it? Videos. What was not clean about it? Now that is actually a proven way to explain to people that you're good at your business. You walk up right in their fucking grill and threaten to knock them out. That's the best way to fucking do it. That's how you get a five star fucking rating. Look at the reporter here. <laughs> He's like rubbing his hands together. Ooh, yeah. 
We're going to see a little bit of oil and wrestling. Go on, ladies, throw down. This is not going to take much. It's just going to wipe you over it. and dust it a little bit. But it was originally... All you need is a duster and just, and just a little bit of dust. You. Actually, fuck you, lady. You, sp you charge 650 bucks for a fucking end of lease clean and you don't even fucking do your job. Fuck you to the moon. And then, not to mention, you carry on like the biggest fucking wanker of all time. I'm not going to review or promote your OnlyFans. I'm not going to get help you get any fucking $8 a month fucking people coming over to jerk off over you. I will not do that. But there's also a photo on your Facebook page from Jess's house, oh isn't gosh, it? Great. But what were, what were you doing with those photos? Is, was that for another business that you've got? Or? No, it's not. Ah, she sells nudes. What a loser. Have to the news people, you should get your cloud chasing face. And that was it. That was the end of the story. Whatever the fuck he said. So how do we end this video? We sent our love to Tracy. We've laughed at these people, the lady with the teeth and the OnlyFans chick who's destined for many children to different people. What do we do at the end of this video? Okay, of course we're gonna do it. We'll review her OnlyFans, I found it. But Gabe, editor Gabe, you fucking blur everything, mate. Black out everything, even a name. I don't want her getting any other fucking followers, all right? I just want to review it. All right, we're in. Let's have a look. She's 23. Oh, I'm killing it, babe. Uh, always remember to unsubscribe so you don't get charged the next month. Okay, there she is in some swimmers. She's in swimmers. Uh, this is fucking... What's she charging? Eight bucks a month for swimmers? Wow, we can just follow your Instagram. There's her ass. She's got a bruise on her ass. That's great. These are all taken on Samsungs. Or a Samsung. There's her ass. Oh my God. You could see her vizhuzh through her pants then. Like just the outline. And it looked like the biggest camel toe of all time. Yeah, she's got a stripper pole out the back. That's exciting. That's so brave. Wow, how do you do it? Uh, she's got giant stripper heels and squatting like she's having a shit. That's gross. Oh, here's a video. Let's watch this. She bends over into a mirror filmed by a Samsung. Great. Uh, she's got a pool cue and she's being hot and sexy with a pool cue. That's weird. Uh, she's slightly bent over. You're rubbing your ass. You've got a, another pool cue. Why the pool cue? Oh, she's out the back. Tan These are all Instagram photos. Why are you charging people for this? If you're going to charge... You gotta get the clam out if you're gonna charge people. Absolute disgraceful. Terrible. The worst OnlyFans I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, if you wanna see some real good content, you can join us on Patreon or on the YouTube membership. You see the little join button down below? For 99 cents a month, that's 25 cents a week, you fucking tired asses. You can get access to all these videos before anybody else and exclusive videos on Patreon. YouTube that the public don't get to see. So I click the join button, consider it, and if you don't consider it, how dare you? How dare you? I'll have to start a fucking OnlyFans. Be a good motherfucker, peace in the Middle East. Be dick stings. Goodbye, Tracy. I will miss your purple. Toodle au revoir. Bye bye.